What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 24 H2 has some major problems and we're going to be going through those in this video. So I've just basically upgraded from Windows 11 Pro 23 H2 to 24 H2 using the Windows Update Assistant. And I wanted to go through and show you some of the pitfalls of updating early to Windows 11 24 H2. So once you've got the update done here, and you go through and do an update on the system, there's been a few issues that have come about and been uh, published online, and you can read about those. I'll leave some links for you to read up on some stuff if you want to. But once you've done your initial update, uh, whether it'll be updating via Windows Update or via the Windows Update Assistant, you will then get this method where you have to update Windows again, and you'll get a bunch of updates inside here once you update these and then you restart the system, that is when the problems will start to arise for some of them. But you may even have problems while upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. And we'll talk about that after today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out my links in the video description. Create an account on their website and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you a key. You can use that key to upgrade to the pro version of Windows or activate version of Windows like this. Very simple. Check the links in the video description. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through and show you some of the things. So if you manage to update to 24H2, then you may see something like this when you go into the storage area inside system. So once you do a scan on the system, for leftover remnant files that you might want to remove from the computer, it does a scan and it will find the Windows uh, Update Cleanup. And there's an area there for 8.9 gigabytes. And this is to do with your uh, Windows Update cache folder. During the installation of the update, it puts files inside of that area. And unfortunately, no matter what you try, you will not be able to remove those files. Microsoft have said they are going to release a patch to fix it and allow you to remove them but it's 8.9 gigabytes as you can see here show advanced options and we're not talking about the previous windows installation we're talking about this one right here the windows update cleanup and it's 8.9 gigabytes in size and no matter what you do you won't be able to remove it i'll show you and i'll run a quick cleanup on this area right here and you'll find that it just ignores it it tries to delete it but the files are still there and the space is still taken up. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll quickly run a cleanup on this. I'm not going to touch this Windows uh, previous installation here, just in case I want to roll back here. But let's go ahead and push continue here. And this will go off and it will start purging the Windows update cleanup area, as you can see on the screen there, just above the cancel button. It's trying to remove those files. And once it's completed its uh, cleanup, you'll see that the files are still there. 8.63 gigabytes. So it's removed a few files, but not all of them. And you will not be able to remove that 8.63 gigabytes. It will be always on the system until Microsoft released a patch for it. And that's going to depend on whether it's going to be an easy fix. And it will probably come out in one of the Patch Tuesday updates or whether you know, they don't see it as being that important and just leave it on the back burner like they've done with other problems. Another one is to do with the SFC scan now. This bug causes the Windows file checker to report a corrupt file that has been fixed by the system file checker tool. But then it reports more corrupt files when you run it again. So it doesn't actually fix the issue at all. It just gets rather confusing and some people may see this on their system thinking they have corrupt files and it's not working and it's broken and they may end up reinstalling Windows thinking they've got a corrupt Windows operating system when in fact it's a bug and Microsoft know about this bug and they will probably end up releasing another patch for this to fix this bug. It's a little bit like the, uh, you know, the defragging bug that was around for quite a while and that was quite a bad one because it was actually defragging people's uh, NVMe drives or SSD drives. Instead of using the trim command, it was actually defragging. So this is another one of those where you're going to have to wait 
for Microsoft to actually release a patch for it. So let me just show you the error here so you can see it. And then I'll speed up the scan again so you can see. You can see Windows Resources Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So I'll quickly run another scan and I'll speed it up so we can get to the end of it. And you'll see it does the exact same thing. It tells you you've got corrupt files and it successfully repaired them. But obviously it hasn't and it's just a bug. So obviously you are not going to be able to use the SFC scan now tool because you're not going to know whether you fix bugs or what because it's going to keep telling you got corrupt files. That's another bug that needs to be fixed. And again, for the average Joe who runs a scan on his system may end up reinstalling Windows thinking he's got major problems. Another one is to do with the easy anti-cheat. If you're a gamer like myself and you play games like Fortnite, Rust, or if you play Apex Legends, they all use the, uh, the easy anti-cheat. And if you have this on the system, you'll get blue screen of death and you'll also get crashing and you might not even be able to upgrade to windows 24 h2 if you have this installed on your system i couldn't upgrade to windows 24 h2 because i had this installed and i was playing uh, fortnite and you'll get a blue screen of death now sometimes it will allow you to update but some games uh, like i said fortnite apex legends I may stop responding and you may end up with a blue screen and crashing and stuff like that another one is Asheville. now Asheville 8 is another program or game that people are playing and if you're playing this it will result in either a blue screen or crashing or freezing and you will get issues with this if you're using this particular game i don't know whether there's other games but microsoft know about the Asheville a issue another one is intel smart uh, technology this is another one that can cause issues uh, driver instability uh you know driver errors Things like that, you can get that from the Intel drivers. And you can find whether you've got uh, Intel drivers on your system by looking on Device Manager. Microsoft have said they're working on a patch to try and fix all of these issues. Again, uh, you shouldn't even have these issues, really, in my honest opinion, before it's released. Not if you've done the amount of testing that they've been doing. So I'm not sure what's going on, but you can tell. If you look in here, you'll see Intel for certain drivers uh, inside here. And if it will be, uh, whether it be network drivers or whether it be sound drivers, or if you've got an Intel system set up chipset, you'll see some of the Intel stuff. I don't have it on here because it's a virtual machine, but basically you would have them listed inside here and you would know that that is causing the problem. Now, there's also some other issues like your mouse cursor disappears. So your mouse pointer disappears when you're clicking in text fields or in certain apps such as Google Chrome. Microsoft Edge, Slack, and other programs like Spotify as well. So if you look on Microsoft's website here, they only have a few known issues, but there is other issues that isn't on this list. For some reason, they haven't added them, but these are the ones what we were just talking about here and a few others that I haven't actually talked about, but like your fingerprint sensor and also uh, wallpaper customization apps and things like that and safe exam browser applications are also causing issues as well. So these are ongoing uh, problems. These have been confirmed by Microsoft. Again, there may be other ones as well. So I don't know why people are so obsessed about upgrading or updating to the very latest feature updates like 24H2 instead of just holding back for a few weeks and finding out what's actually going on. You'll see it posted online on youtube there'll be people making videos about it there'll be websites posting articles about it and you'll be glad that you held off from that update also don't be a guinea pig for microsoft let them fix their issues themselves before they release them anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a lovely weekend and i shall catch you in the next video bye for now